Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, if you like our content here, please go ahead and subscribe. And the issue we're going to look at today is with a Android device. It might be any Android or Samsung device, and it involves uh, the, the Google Play Store, which is right down here, that will not load or be install apps or update apps. So basically, if you're trying to launch a um, application to install the Play Store, and Play Store won't start up any at all, or maybe it's starting, but once you try to um, install a particular app or update an app, it's giving you an error. And I'll show you the error in a minute. And of course, it can happen with any app on the Play Store. So as you can see here, guys, I'm connected to the internet and I'm getting this particular error. And it says, can't update PayPal. And of course, PayPal is the app. And if I hit um, OK and I try to update again, it will say it cannot update the app. Now, of course, I have fixed the issue in this case, and I'll show you what you can actually do to fix the problem. Now, the first thing you want to do in the case that you're having this error, guys, is you're going to just go ahead, and once you go ahead, you're going to just um, check to see that your internet is working. A good way to do that is just launch any internet browser. And the internet browser in question that we're using here is um, anyone will work, Google, Chrome, Firefox, you name it, and you can just see if you're browsing. So to see if you're browsing, just go ahead and type in anything. Once you type in that, just go ahead and search. And once you're getting results and browsing, you should be good. So once you know that the internet is working, that's the first thing to check for. The second thing to check for, guys, in case you're having a similar error uh, for any particular app, just go ahead and restart your phone. And restart here, we're just going to hit uh, restart. And of course, for you, I'm just going to skip through this section. So once the device restarts, and here we are restarted guys and of course by restarting what you do is that you refresh the system and because the error might just be caused because the system is not um, refreshed so once you do that that's the second um, step you can just go ahead again launch the play store and try to update most likely to start updating again the third and final thing you can do guys is to simply go to settings once you're in settings, go down and search for um, apps or application, depending on your version of Android. Once you're in apps, just go ahead and search for the Google Play Store. It should say Google Play. Once you find Google Play as I found here, it says Google Play Store, just simply tap. I'm not going to do it on this device as I've already fixed the issue. You're going to go to storage and then you're going to do these two things, clear cache, clear data. Once you do that, guys, let's go back. And once you go back, let's go ahead and force stop the app or you could reboot once more to make sure that the effects have taken place. And once you do that, guys, for the um, final time, once you reboot after clearing the cache, you might go ahead and launch um, Google Play Store again. And of course, once you launch Google Play Store, what should happen is that it might ask you to log back in. So it requires that you log back into your account. After doing that, guys, just simply tap. And once you go here, you're just going to go to My Apps and Games. And if it was an update you're um, installing, just go ahead and try to do the update again. If it was an app you're trying to install, let's go ahead and install the app once more. And of course, as you can see here, my error is gone. And it shows you here that it's in, it's updating and it says download pending and installing for the other one. But of course, the issue is now fixed. And of course, the reason why this happens um, to most um, Android devices, guys, is if you had a recent update, maybe um, it happened in the background. What would happen is that the Play Store might be updated and the phone just simply needs to be rebooted or the cache needs to be clear due to a buildup of um, old cache. Or of course, it might just be an internet issue while you're getting the error in question. All right, guys. So those are the three things you can actually do to fix this particular issue on your Android device. All right, guys. We've got a gun from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time, guys. Bye.